Hello everyone, we return with another mushroom vlog because I know a lot of people are wondering about the updates for the crazy experiments going on using the North Spore mushroom spawn. So they all look fantastic, except for one, and we'll talk about that in a second. So right there and right there are the toilet paper rolls that I boiled and then stuck the spawn, the grain spawn, into. They look amazing. I think they're ready to fruit. They are just solid, solid, white, thick uh, mycelium growth in each one. As well, the one-pot method, look at it. It's gone crazy. It's actually growing up onto the cover. So I think this is ready to be opened up and fruited out. Um, it's, I mean, I admit, in a one-pot, I can't see the sides. So I can't judge how well it's developed here. So that is one downside. Unless I somehow use like an all-glass pot or something. Um, it's hard to tell. But um, from the top, it looks really ready to go. And of course, the last one is just the... I had some extra spawn, so I boiled some more straw. I threw it in the bag. So this looks pretty good and ready to fruit, too. So um, the, the last experiment is not looking as good. And that was my attempt at doing my own grain spawn in a single pot solution. So I just boiled the grain, no sterilization, just pasteurizing it, and injected my liquid culture... And I don't like the looks of that uh, orange spotting on the top. That could just be metabolites from the spawn, but uh, that could also be contamination. So, eh, probably not the best solution. So going forward, if I'm going to make my own grain spawn, I will go back to using the instant pot, which is back there, if you can see it, and actually doing a pressure sterilization of the grain jars. But live and learn. It's all about the experiments. So um, what I'm going to end up doing is um, probably going to open up these bags a little bit, uh, letting some fresh air get in. I'm probably going to tape the tape off this. I'm going to prop, prop up the cover a tiny little bit once I get them into the fruiting chamber. So this is a, you've seen this before. If you've seen my past videos, this is a, just a good old plastic Sterilite container. Biggest one I could find. There's some exit air holes cut from the side. This was originally a more passive fruiting chamber back in the day, but I made it a little bit more active by adding a CPU fan so the air is constantly being pushed. New air, fresh air is sucked in and then pushed out very gently. And this is perlite soaked in, um, in this case, reverse osmosis water, just to keep it nice and clean. So um, yeah, so basically I'm going to get all these opened up a little bit popped in there and hopefully uh, we can see some fruiting growth. Now we're in my back back room, hence why it's kind of a mess. But back here it is much colder, especially now that we're going into into winter time of the year. Um, there's not a lot of light back here, which I'm probably going to leave a grow light on. I will be starting some new seeds for out in the greenhouse, completely separate topic. So they'll, I think there'll always be at least a little bit of light on back here because you do want a little light for the fruiting stage. Um, not necessarily direct light, but they want to see some light. It's like the fruiting. They want to come up into the sunshine um, when the cold air hits. So the colder weather um, with the fresh air exchange will hopefully spark some fruiting and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'll keep you updated on the next video, the next vlog entry. Keep an eye out for other updated videos because I'm going to talk about, you know, what is the ideal temperature to grow mushrooms at and should you shake your grain spawn? Just answering some of these common questions that I get, so stay tuned for that, and uh, until the next vlog, um, we'll see you then. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on all the updates with the vlog and also the one-off videos I put out. So until then, I'll see you next time, and thank you for joining me on this journey.